Another great part of Thanksgiving, all of those high school football games. Eleven Reed is so excited to talk about them. He is just I practically was, dancing. I was, I was doing all the dancing. I'm but sorry, you know I what? That, that wasn't really dancing. I'm sorry. What was it? What was it? What'd you call it? It was it cheering. Kind of like freaking out because I'm okay, so happy to be here. So Thanksgiving is almost over. Hopefully everybody had a safe and relaxing time and you have leftovers for days. You know it's not turkey day without high school football. We've got you covered and also at the bottom of the screen for the rest of the newscast you can see all the high school scores from the day. Here we go. Lynn Classical taking on Lynn English and please pay attention. English down 15 to 12. They hit on a 21 yard touchdown pass and they take the lead 20 to 15 with just 8 seconds to play. So I guess we're assuming the game's over. Stop it. They still had to kick off. Melvin Nieves grabs the ball, and after scrambling around, he eventually gets the rock to Marcus Rivera, and this kid has got skills. He goes up the right sideline and gets a couple of blocks. 80 yards to the house. Lynn Classical wins. 21 to 20. Another great game between Brighton and Latin Academy. Fourth quarter, Latins. John Zian throws one deep to Patrick Fitzgerald. Drag was up. 20 to 14 with under eight minutes to play, but Brighton tied it at 20. And with under a minute to go, the Bengals. Nate Hall throws this one up to Jared Clark. Clark has a hand and a cast, but that doesn't stop him. Makes a one-handed catch, 32 yards. You, sir, are going to get your name in the paper. Brighton beats Latin Academy 28 to 20. Everett taking on Maskinomic. It's the Crimson Tide's first Turkey Day game since 2011. Everett made it count. Jordan McAfee threw three touchdowns. Everett wins 35 to 24. Next stop for the Crimson Tide is the Division I Super Bowl. Undefeated Falmouth visiting Barnstable. Another great day for Falmouth. Nick Kohig to Michael LaFrange. 57 yards of pay dirt. Clippers go up 7 0. How about running back? Sam Cos back after missing the last five games. He takes this one down the sideline. Look at the effort to get in the end zone. That's somebody who wants a big piece of turkey. Falmouth up 26 to 7. Then more from Kohig. He hits, hooks up with Gene Vasquez for another touchdown. Great grabbing traffic right there to get it done. Falmouth wins 40 to 21. They improve to 12 and 0. They are headed to the Division 2A Super Bowl next weekend. Unbeaten Hanover taking on Norvo. Norwell and Hanover controlled this game all the way throughout. It was the Andrew Carroll and Jeffrey Wheeler show, second quarter. That's Carroll to Wheeler touchdown and ends up 7 0 to the third. And if it works once, why not try it again? Carroll to Wheeler again. Touchdown number two. Hanover up 14 to 3. Fourth quarter, and you guessed it, the trifecta. You betcha. Carroll Wheeler to Wheeler. Hanover wins it 21 to 3. They improved to 11 0, and they are headed to the Division 3 Super Bowl. Stoneham hosting Reading and the Spartans. A little razzle dazzle. Trey Pignoni with the end around, and he finds Tim Russell way down the field for the touchdown. Stoneham took a 14 to 7 lead, and then Pignoni also got it done on the ground. With two rushing touchdowns on the day. Stoneham wins it 28 to 13. A little cold for that bath right there. I don't know. Little Central Mass action. Nip Muck. Taking on Blackstone Valley. Sometimes I get that name wrong. They're running across the street, Nip Muck pinned down on their end, but Ryan Richards shows off his legs, takes this one 98 yards for the touchdown. That will put them up 14 to nothing. Later, Richards does it with his arm, throws this one deep to Zach Hunter. He reels it in. Warriors win it 26 to 14. Marlboro taking on Hudson. This one's all Marlboro. Big day for Owen Cabadonna. Ran for 143 yards and three touchdowns. He also threw for a score. The Panthers win 44 to nothing. Now let's get you all caught up on all the high school scores in the area.
big shout out to all the photographers here at the station. They got up early and made it to those games so we could bring them to you. Also, a big shout out to producers Joe Giza and Jackie Canale for all the scores and getting all those highlights on the air. Solid effort all the way around, everybody. Gobble, gobble.